What's up, KJ fam? So I am back once again with another video. Uh, today, you guys, it is the day after Christmas. It's March 26th, um, although I know this video is coming out a couple days later. But um, yeah, you guys, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of an update, what's going on, how our Christmas went, um, although I know by now it's probably been a few days past. Obviously, as you can see, Kristen is unfortunately still not with us. Um, Definitely been struggling, uh, getting over this sickness and everything. She has turned a corner, um, but I want to at least give you guys an update on kind of how that's been going. So as you can see, I have some food in front of me. Um, I actually have some Hawaiian food. I was definitely feeling some Hawaiian food today. Uh, this is from a place called Makai Grill. Uh, it's M-A-K-A-I, Makai Grill. Um, it's delicious. We've had it before. We've actually done it in a video. Um, so I'm going to be eating this today. There are, this is actually the large bowl. Uh, there's Kahlua, or no, this is katsu chicken right here. Um, they also have some, I got some teriyaki, I think it's steak, teriyaki steak or something like that? I don't know, sweet teriyaki, sweet, sweet steak teriyaki or something like that. Anyways, it's delicious. I've had it before. Uh, and then I also got some Kahlua pork as well. Uh, there's this little kimchi uh, slaw that they have that's really, really, really good. Um, I got some rice and some macaroni salad. And I'm about to dig in, you guys, because this is the first thing I've eaten all day long. So I'm ready for it. Let me go ahead and pour some of this on and get to work. Yeah, you guys, this, um, this cold has been, or this whatever this is, has been rough for us, you guys. My voice still isn't fully back. And like I said, every time I do catch a cold or get sick or anything, my voice tends to go, but I don't think it goes for this long usually. This is a very, very odd one. This is really strange. Mm. Oh. Oh, you know what? It must be down at a steak. And gave me this dry chicken. It's okay. It tastes good. It's just very dry. But anyways, it is what it is. We haven't we haven't really gone out of the house. So we door dashed it, or I door dashed this. And when you door dash, you get what you get. You can't complain, kinda. Of. Well, you can complain, of course, on the app, but you know, you kind of just get what you get, you know? So it is what it is. Oh, this is so good. Mm. We came across this place on TikTok. And I remember thinking, looking at the food, like it looked incredible. But you never really know until you actually try the food, if it is or not. And honestly, it tastes just as good as it looks. Just as good as it looks, you guys. It's it's that good. By the way, for those of you that I don't know if you that don't use TikTok much, you know, if you are looking for like really good restaurants in your area, places that like or I should say places that are like going viral in your area or for restaurants or places that like look really good and stuff, TikTok's really good for telling you where to go. Like I, I always search like Las Vegas food. And there's always so many different restaurant um, restaurants always posting and stuff like that. Uh, obviously, you know, you can do that with anything, Instagram too. But with TikTok, I feel it's nice because they actually show you more videos rather than just a picture, you know? So that's how we found this. And honestly, this is one of our favorite Hawaiian places for sure. It's really good. Mmm. Mmm. That's amazing. This katsu chicken, this fried chicken with the sauce on here, and it's good. Anyways, I hope you guys had a good Christmas. Um, we definitely, um, for us, this was the craziest Christmas we've ever had. Normally for Christmas, you know, we're all we're out and about, doing stuff, family and friends. Kind of hanging out and stuff. Not this Christmas. This Christmas, you guys, we were in the house all day. Literally just chilling. Uh, kind of. It was rough.
So, Chris and I did a video um, together, as you did see us, on Christmas. We did a video, um, I believe it was the day before Christmas. And she definitely was, you know, still sick, as you guys saw and everything. Um, but she, uh, I guess everything was kind of like in her chest at the time. Literally the next day, you guys, it started going up to her head. So she had really bad congestion. And then what ended up happening is she ends up getting a sinus infection. And you guys, if you've ever had a sinus infection, you know just how like severe that thing feels and how much it, it just sucks. So, um, you know, literally with that, she started, um, you know, struggling with that sinus infection. So her whole face, everything was just pressure, you know? And um, we tried everything. I mean, we were doing neti potting, which is, you know, you pour the water in one side of the nose, comes out the other. We're doing that. Vitamins. Um, taking a cloth, warm cloth, put it on the face. Tea. Uh, showers. Like, everything we could. Uh, we even... I even came across this idea, which was actually pretty good, it worked pretty well, temporarily, which was to boil some onions for about five to seven minutes, um, and then you steam over it, because onions, like, open up everything. You know how it is when you cook on onions, it sends, you know, it opens up your sinuses. So, we tried all of that, everything, and it was all nice temporarily, but when you have a sinus infection, like, it just doesn't go away until it's done. So, this is, by the way, on Christmas Day. So, I wake up, Christmas has this really bad, you know, her head's hurting, um, and her face is hurting because of the pressure. I think she even got like a, a, a temporary uh, fever, just a temporary fever because of everything. So, we were like, you know, so she's like, I don't know if I can make it through the day. We may have to go to urgent care. So, we were trying. Wanted to see how she felt all through the day. And I had high hopes. I was just thinking like, well, maybe with all these different things that we're trying, something will work. Nothing helped. So finally, Chris is like, I got to do urgent care. It's like 8 p.m. at nighttime. We were like, let's just go to urgent care. What they can at least give is some, um, what is it, um... Not, not medication, but uh, antibacterial stuff. Can't even think of the name of it. Anyways, that you can just take and it clears it out after a few hours. It may, maybe takes a couple doses um, to actually help it, but apparently it does help. So we were like, all right, let's go to urgent care, you know? On Christmas, you guys, urgent care is not open. Nothing's open. I mean, obviously the hospitals are open, things like that, but we wanted to go to urgent care, which is the clinic. And, um, we, uh, well, this is the interesting thing. See, this is what, what sucks is, you know, on Google, it tells you like what times things are open typically, but then it says times may vary based off the holidays. So on Christmas, you don't know, you know, what the deal is. So before we left, the way it works is you have to actually have to call, schedule an appointment to actually show up. So you can't just show up to urgent care. You have to make, you can make an appointment through the phone, their phone system or online system. Um, and then they tell you what time to come in. So we set it up, schedule it and everything. We head over to the urgent care place and no one's there. Like no one's there at all. Mm. Completely closed down. I think maybe they didn't update their system. So... Like, you know, so I'm sure there are a lot of people that schedule times to actually show up to the, you know, on Christmas to this place and like they, no one was working. So, so anyways, we get there, no one's there, lights are off, try to open the door, nothing. So, Christmas online and there's a lot of different urgent cares all around um, Nevada, the ones that we particularly go to. So... She's looking it up, and she sees that there's one that's going to be opening at midnight. So we're like, that's perfect. We'll get there. We'll go there at midnight. It's only like four hours away. We'll just wait a little bit longer and then head out. 
Four hours come. We're just at the house waiting, chilling. And um, Kristen's like, let me go ahead and, you know, because I think the way she booked it last time, she booked it on the computer. But she was like, let me try to call and see if I can get a hold of somebody. And after like 30 minutes, guys, I'm trying to call at 12 midnight. Nobody answered. Nobody came through. Like, no, you couldn't schedule an appointment. So it turns out they just, they were just closed still. Hmm. Um, like I said, that's what's difficult about the holidays is you just don't know what's going to be open or what's not, you know? So that was tough because our whole Christmas was pretty much spent hanging out in a room. Kristen's in bed laying there the whole time, blowing her nose and <laughs> doing her stuff. And I'm like on the computer, you know, kind of hanging out and stuff like that, really not doing anything. Um, and then when we did finally do something going out, it was trying to get to urgent cares, but just no success with that. So, so that was okay. Um, you know, so I guess that night, it was really rough for her to sleep the night, obviously with your head when it's like that. And then also another thing about this, this, um, this kind of cold sickness thing that we have going, um, you can't like, it's really hard to sleep on your back. For some reason, when you sleep on your back, the phlegm wants to come up on your back. So it's like you have to sleep on your stomach and it's not always comfortable to sleep on your stomach, you know? So, so Kristen was only able to get just a few hours of sleep last night. So that was really hard for her. And then, let's see what else happened. Oh. So finally, when we did wake up, um, I think around 8 a.m., she got up, she got on the phone, got a hold of an urgent care that actually was finally open, and um, they told us that, oh, what they did tell us is that they didn't have any um, physicians there or doctors or whatever there, so what, what they had to do was put us on a list to go out to all the other ones, and as soon as something opens at, at any of the other locations, they would let us know, so... We waited maybe about an hour or so to get a notification, and then we head right over to the urgent care. So it was pretty quick. It wasn't too bad. Um, but I do have to say that at least with the urgent cares here, I don't know how the hospitals are. <coughs> Excuse me. But with the urgent care, they're not the greatest, you know. Um, you know, going in there, I guess what Kristen was kind of telling the guy the symptoms you know, because she took a test. She took a COVID test, negative. Uh, flu, was it, didn't have the flu because um, I guess the guy was asking her questions about it and stuff. And it turns out she doesn't have the flu. We, we, we don't really know what it is. It's just some sort of cold, respiratory cold or something. Um, but the guy wasn't, you know, Chris was trying to tell him exactly what's going on. The guy's just like, no, 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 no. Not really hearing it. Not really giving very good, what is it, like empathy or whatever, you know, comfort. So, so you know, he wrote her the, the prescription and stuff like that for her to get it. And I guess it was a little confused with the prescription, too, because when we went out to um, uh, the Walgreens that we were going to to get the prescription, um, they they told us that they, they, I guess you have to hand them a sheet of paper to actually get them to um, get the prescription and stuff. Um, and the guy was like, I don't need the paper. It's already in the system. So there was some confusion and stuff. But I just had to say that the system, you know, our the system here just isn't the best medical system, it seems like. A lot of people have problems out here, so... You know, it was what it was, but we did get everything. We got the medication. So, hopefully, it should be working in soon. Although, in waiting for the medication, she has turned a corner. So, you know, she is feeling a lot better. Not perfect, but definitely a lot better. Um, the roughest part, you guys, is this cough. This cough just doesn't want to go away. It doesn't want to go away. Like, for me, I've been feeling really good for, you know, maybe the last, like, four or five days now. But this cough that I have, it just, it won't leave. I mean, I try everything. It's just not, it's just not going away. So, it's, it now, it is slowly getting better. But it's just like, you know, I'm, I was hoping that it had been gone, like, at least two days ago. So, we'll see how it goes. But other than that, you guys, yeah, 
We didn't do much. On Christmas, we just... We just pretty much just sat in a room. <laughs> all day long. Now... I don't know how long it's going to take Kristen to get better. It might take her probably still, in my opinion, to be like fully recovered. It still might take another like three, four days. I mean, I, I, I do think she'll be on the video sooner than that. But fully recovered might take three or four more days. And um, we're hoping, at least for New Year, if she does get better and stuff like that, um, David Blaine is, I think his name, David Blaine? Yeah, David Blaine, the magician. Is playing out here in Vegas, and we really want to see his show. It's for New Year's. Um, so we're hoping, 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 hoping that um, if, if she's feeling better and, like, you know, back to normal, um, then we're, we want to maybe go out and see that show. Because, honestly, you guys, it has been very difficult the last few days just being, being in the house and not going out and doing anything, you know? So it would be nice to at least, you know, have a little something to do. Um, towards the end of the year, you know, but we'll see if not if it doesn't play out like that. That's okay You know, we still got time. We'll do something the following week, you know I feel like the good thing about being in Vegas <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like there's always something to do so even whether it's the holidays or not, you know, we'll always figure out something to do out here so so anyways you guys Hmm It's funny because we bought all these Christmas gifts and we we're kind of stressing getting the gifts and stuff like that, trying to figure out like what to get, like, and, you know, it took us a little while to like figure everything out and we honestly couldn't even give gifts to anyone. We couldn't give them to anyone, so kind of sucks, you know, so we have like all these gifts and stuff like that, so, you know, over the next, you know, few weeks and stuff like that, we'll be able to get them out because I think... Once again, Kristen's parents are probably going to come out at some point in January, maybe February. So, we'll be able to give it to them. But, it just sucks, you know? Anyways. Other than that, you guys. Really not much else going on. You know, I have had, we've had a good amount of time to really think about some of our plans for this upcoming year, you know, I definitely would say the last month or so, we de or uh, two months even, we really slowed down a lot with, I feel like doing a lot of things online. Um, we've been just running around like crazy and then with the colds and stuff like that, you only have so much, well, so much time in the day to do stuff. So we've got it, we've, we've gotten some stuff planned for the beginning of the year. So we're looking forward to that. Actually, um, Definitely a little bit of a change is coming, you guys. So we want to definitely let you know about that, but not yet. Uh, we'll talk about it once Kristen's here and we can, you know, kind of uh, deliver it in a way that, you know, we can both tell you guys about it. So other than that, you guys, that's pretty much it. I wish I had more for you today. I don't. There's nothing going on. It is boring in this house. There's only so many movies you can watch. <laughs> so, um, but that's okay. Um, I do want to say I am grateful Grateful for family, grateful for friends, grateful for Kristen, uh, grateful for you guys as well. The fact that you guys are constantly catching our videos and commenting on our videos and we read all the comments, although, you know, we don't always write back and everything. Uh, we will possibly be working on that for sure in the future. Um, but we just appreciate you guys and um, yeah, we're just looking forward to this upcoming year and things to come. So you guys have a wonderful evening. Um, or day, night, whatever time it is. We will catch you in our next video. Peace. See you guys next time.